Welcome back everybody, Automotive Inc. here. Today we're talking about, there was an article that just came out where Ford confirms its top 11 engines made that should last with regular maintenance over 300,000 miles and sometimes up into 500,000 miles. Now you might be surprised because you're thinking, wow, think of all the engines that Ford has came out with since the Model T, right? Since the, the first cars that came out, which ones were really ranked the best? And I think some of these you might be surprised on. I've had most of these engines, maybe not some of the older ones, but let's talk about them. So here we go. Ford says that the number one was the Ford 460 Lima. That was a 459 cubic inch engine with 245 horsepower and 410 pounds of torque. It ran from 1968 to 1998 in all kinds of different vehicles. The next one is one of my favorites, but it was kind of a unique engine. It was the Ford 300 inline six at 300 cubic inches, only 120 stock horsepower, 260 pounds of torque. Believe it or not, it ran from 1965 to 1996. Now I love this engine. It was uh, it was a good engine for what it was. They packed it in a lot of different vehicles, um, but not really a powerhouse, not really good on fuel, but it would last with regular maintenance. And you guys got to realize what they're talking about is regular maintenance is not the severe, or it is the severe service maintenance. And some people will push those to the max. You know, the 7,500 mile range they have today is a little um, high for my, my comfort zone. So I wouldn't do that. Coming in at number three, now there's two iterations of this motor. One, the Ford 351 Windsor. That came in at 351 cubic inches. Stock horsepower could run anywhere between 180 and 220 um, and 291 pounds of torque. Now a lot of people will boost those, but we're just talking about stock numbers here. Interesting facts, that ran from 1969 to 1996. They put it in all kinds of things. You can get it in cars, you can get it in pickups, and then a lot of people did it. 8.6 million of those engines were made. So pretty cool on that one. Now the other iteration was the Ford 351 Cleveland, also coming in at 351 cubic inches. Now this was the one that everybody wanted in the muscle cars. They tweaked it and tuned it. 330 horsepower potential and 380 pounds of torque. It only ran for a couple years, well, sorry, four years, 1970 and 1974, but it remains, based on reporting data, that it was one of the best engines that they had. Now, next one, I've had these before. I love them. I love the V10s of the 2000s, 90s. Um, they're one of my favorite engines. Although, if you try and put pipes on these things, they'd sound like trash, so it's best if you just, you're not going to get that V8 sound out of them. But the Ford 6.8 liter V10 coming in at 412 cubic inches, 362 pound, or horsepower, and right at 457 pounds of torque. It ran all the way from 1999 to 2021. And basically that engine, they packed it in vans, motorhomes, everything like that. And I will also report back that I had tremendous luck with them. Again, I think they kind of ran into some issues with you know, the limitations of the gearing. If they brought that engine back, I would buy a V10. All right, next on the list is also one of my Ford engines that's my favorite is the Ford 5.0 Coyote, 302 cubic inches. Stock horsepower, 360, 380 pounds of torque. They ran that to 1990 to current. Um, and now it's even more powerful than it ever has been. It's better on fuel economy. One of my favorite engines they've ever made. Uh, I remember the 5.0s and the Mustangs in the 90s, and it was just just a cool engine it still is today and keeps on running now this next one may throw you for a little bit of loop but the little ford 4.6 v8 only 281 cubic inches stock horsepower 220 290 on the pounds of torque ran from 1990 to 2010 now for people in law enforcement you know that uh when the 5.0 was dropped out of the police cruiser they brought in the 4.6 very dependable engine they put it in f-150s they put in a lot of iterations in the F-150s, slightly underpowered, but if you got with a manual, it wasn't all that bad, all right? So, but I think that one might surprise a little people because uh, a lot of people forget that engine. But, again, I've seen a lot of them with a lot of high miles. And in police cruisers, they got worked really hard. And, of course, those then became taxis and everything. But, again, all right. So, number eight, the Ford 390 V8, 390 cubic inches, 265 horsepower, 320 pounds of torque, ran from 1961 to 1976. Now you might be thinking, well, why is Ford reporting these? Well, because there's still a lot of people that have these out there and these are the engines they're sought after for dropping in, you know, performance things and whatnot. But there's still a lot of old vehicles out there still running on the road, all right? Now this next one, this one probably might cause a little bit of a stir. The Ford 5.4 Triton V8 came in at 330 cubic inches, 
235 horsepower, 330 pounds of torque, ran from 1997 to 2010. Now, this was a good engine, okay, if you did regular maintenance and you got the plugs out before they snapped off, all right? There was a run there with a 5.4, if you went past it, removing the, changing the spark plugs could cause an issue. And the way Ford does their, their coils over the, over the engine, if you use those spray up, uh, pressure washers, that tended to be some of the issues with that, but uh, you know, at the end of the day, it was a good engine, not powerful, horrible on fuel economy. Um, but you know, I know a lot of people that have bought them cheap as kind of a junker truck, and they just keep on trucking. They keep dumping oil, it burns oil, it's old, everything like that. But very, very unique. Number ten on the list. This will probably also surprise a lot of people. The Ford 3.5 EcoBoost V6. That is only 213 cubic inches. Now, when Ford decided they were going to switch and go to this turbo type setup they took a v6 that was well established it was doing very well they beefed it up and everything and what's crazy is this little bitty v6 can pump out anywhere between 375 horsepower to 450 horsepower and 470 pounds of torque to 500 pounds of torque now the power boost has those high numbers that that 450 and that 500 that is outstanding out of such a little engine now that ran and started in 2009 and it's still running today. I think that uh, they found that you don't have to have this monster gas guzzling V8 that you can find a way to produce power. The Europeans basically turbo just about everything they can get their hands on. Um, and so they kind of brought that into it and I think it's running well. Now last but not least, you guys gotta be thinking, where the heck are all the diesels in this? Well, at number 11 is the Ford Power Stroke 6.7, okay? Now there are a lot of 7.3s. I think they had a 6.9 back in the 80s that I that I drove ones um, that were just IDI. Um, and I'm telling you, the Power Strokes have came a long way. Uh, I've enjoyed all of my Power Strokes that I've had. The newest iteration is 406 cubic inches. Stock horsepower is 475 and 1050 on the torque. 1.4 million uh, Power Strokes made, um, and I think that that's pretty good. I, I think that all the modern diesels will still have problems. As, as you saw, the EPA stuff coming over the years, it caused more problems. It's, it's causing that reliability to go down quite a bit. Uh, but if you stay up on maintenance and everything, uh, then it's good. Now, that engine is made, I think, it's still in Chihuahua, Mexico. Um, so the people that you know say, hey, they want American-made diesel, most of the diesels are kind of manufactured parts and pieces here and there and then assembled somewhere else. But I don't really care where it's made. I don't care how the chicken sandwich is made as long as it's delicious. And I think that these, this was an interesting uh, article to read over and how they ranked it. Um, and you guys can sound off in the comments. As always, guys, before you leave, smash the subscribe button for me. Give me a thumbs up at the end of the video. And we got some great stuff coming up real soon. I've been out for a little bit, got a little congested, didn't have my voice. Um, so we're back and we are rolling again. So we will catch you on the next one.